know, when I see a scrape in the woods, boy, I get excited. I know something active is happening there. And when you see fresh sign in that scrape, man, I even get more excited because I know there are certain things going on. There are bucks on the move in this area. They're doing things in this area that's gonna make them come back, that's gonna make other deer come in. And there are so many people now that have really perfected making mock scrapes out there to help their success in the field. And Conquest is actually, you know, you take all the products that Conquest already has, like the VS1 and the rutting buck, and you can deploy them around the, the hunting area, but they've really even taken it a step further with the scrape maker. It's just basically a device that's gonna help you make a fake scrape and fake rub. Now, I'm not saying you can't do this with a stick because you can, but you can be more effective with a device that's gonna help you, you know, make them better. That's just with any tool in the world. And what I do in this type of situation here, when we're really, especially when we get into that time of the year when I think I can rattle them in and I'm seeing lots of scrapes around water sources, around field edges, places that we're hunting, uh, but we want to get them kind of in closer, that's when I'm going to hit them with a one-two punch of using rut and buck, a VS1, and make a few fake scrapes in those locations. And it's not hard to do. Basically, you're pawing the ground, making a, a, a pie shaped, uh, you know, plate shaped area. I like to make it a little bit deeper in the middle because that's what's happening in those types of situations. Thrash a little tree that's right there over it, up and down like a buck's gonna do when he's rubbing his antlers on it. And then deploy your scents. And you're gonna come back and see others have visited that. You can even put scouting cameras over those exact locations and you're gonna, you're gonna get it in, feedback of what else is hitting that exact location. And if you'll update that and manage it, and by that I mean, you revisit it like the buck does, and when you're coming in and out of your hunting area, go do it again. Pour a little more VS1, put some more rutting buck, freshen up the scrape, turn the dirt up just like the deer does, and you're gonna you're gonna be surprised a lot of times of the type of success that you might be able to find by making a mock scrape.